Hello and welcome to lesson 63 in the creation of our school management system using Microsoft Excel and Word with the GeForce IT Service Academy. In our previous lesson, we were able to insert all the codes that can help our school management system, the codes that can help our student user form to function effectively without any challenge. So in this lesson, we are just going to try the student database. We are going to try the student user form and see how it will respond whenever we want to enter the details of our newly admitted students into our school management system so if you are new to the channel please make sure that you subscribe to the channel make sure that you turn on the notification bell icon for all so that when we upload a new video you'll be able to get that notification and watch that particular video without facing any challenge so let's quickly open our user form here so this is the user form this is the user form that we inserted the various codes for so this is our student database you can see the details of our students inside the database here. so we have about five students in our database now so you can see their class the names the gender the date of birth the date of admission the admission fee the guardian name address and finally the contact so now we want to try and see how the system is going to work but before we do that Let's click on the close button here. Then let's clear everything from the system. So let's select it from the beginning to this side. Then you right click. So you select clear contents. Good. So we don't have any detail in our system now. So let's click on add here. So automatically the admission number here will be one. Because we inserted a particular code that will help the system to generate admission numbers automatically without any challenge so let's see how the system is going to respond so let's click on save it when you click on save the system will prompt you to enter your name so click on ok then let's enter the name so aku akujo like this so let's click on save again and let's see what is going to happen when you click on it the system will prompt you to enter class so let's click on the drop down here to select a class for that student then we select our agenda aku joe okay so let's click on save again and let's see what is going to happen so the system is going to prompt us to enter the date of birth so let's enter the date of birth of aku joe so 20th january 2020 good 20th January 2020 good let's click on add or save button again and let's see what is going to happen so the system is going to prompt us to enter date of admission so this is date of admission so we need to enter it so let's just click on ok good so we have to enter the date of admission for Akujo so let's make it 10th December 2024 like that so let's click on add or save button again and let's see what is going to happen so the system is going to prompt us to enter admission fee so we are going to enter the admission fee that Akujo is supposed to pay or the admission fee that Akujo has paid so let's make it thousand Ghana cities then let's click on save and see what is going to happen automatically the system is going to prompt us to enter the guardian name so the guardian name is joe james like this so that is the guardian name now let's click on save again and let's see what is going to happen so the system is going to prompt us to enter address which address is it email address or what is it postal address which one so let me just select one here. So Oko James at gmail.com like that. So let's click on save again and let's see what is going to happen. So the system is going to prompt us to enter contact. Let's enter the contact details of Joy James here. That is the guardian 
of uh, Akujo. Okay, so zero two four zero one one two two three. So let's count it and see one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Good. So now we want to add a passport picture of Akujo. So click on add photo. Just click on add photo here. When you click on add photo, let me select a particular passport picture. So I prefer this one. So I only click on it, then click on open. So the passport picture is here without facing any challenge. Now let's come to the add or save here. So we have all the details of Akujo here. We have the name, the class, the date of birth, the gender, the date of admission, the school fees or the admission fee. We have the guardian name, we have the address, and finally the contact. We also have his or her passport picture here. So it's he because we choose male as the gender. So we have his passport picture here. This one is for the sake of this class. So when you are doing it, please make sure that you select the right picture. So let's click on save and let's see what is going to happen. Immediately we click on save. The system is going to prompt us saved successfully. So we have our details in the system in the database here without any challenge. We have all the details of our Kujo in our database here without any challenge. So the only thing that you need to do is to click on OK. So let's check the student database here. So we have the admission number one, name of student. We have Akujo, class basic two, gender is male, date of birth is he also here is also appearing here. Date of admission is also here. We have all the details inside our student database system here without facing any challenge. Okay, so the next thing that we are going to do is to update. So when we click on update, we see updated successfully. When we click on reset, then you see that this particular user form here will be empty. When we click on close, it should be able to close everything for us. So that is how the system works. So the next thing that we are going to do is to start working on the teacher's user form. So we will continue with that one in lesson 64. So please make sure that you subscribe to the channel. Make sure that you turn on the notification bell icon for all. Make sure that you share this video with your friends to also benefit from us on this channel. So let's meet in lesson 64. Bye-bye.